Yo, what's up everyone? My name's Maze, and this is going to be a different kind of video. I usually get asked what my lineups are, so I thought I'd put together a comprehensive guide. I used Darwin's on a nade tool to come up with them. Spawn nades are an easy way to build ult charge. You get about 3% for every enemy splashed. This means you can already be 18% to nano before the first team fight. If Mercy is your other support, always ask them to damage boost the throw so you can gain more ult charge and also build her some. Alright, with that being said, let's roll straight into it with escort maps. Starting with Dorado, there's a sight line between the buildings directly to the door. If you want to step it up a little, you can splash it on their heads so it's less likely to be blocked or eaten. Stand in this corner on the high ground. Look at the windowsill and align the top part of the one from the ammo count with the right part of the window. For Havana, stand in the corner created by the tiny ledge of the ticket booth. Look at where the dark curvature of the top of the windowsill meets the curve of the ticket booth, and place the scope of the weapon icon on top of it. This lineup will be a little tricky to do if the fence is broken. Stand in the corner created by the fence and this wall on the high ground. Line up the strap on the biotic rifle icon with the corner of the fence post and the accent line with this part of the fence. Since Rialto has so many doors and it's covered from above, this nade isn't as reliable. Stand in the alley between the fuse box and the red box. Line up this part of the scope graphic with this left dark dot on the roof. To make sure you're on the right dot, the diamond should line up with the edge of the roof. For Route 66, I have two nades that work depending on where my team is holding from. For the first one, stand in this corner on top of the gas station. Line up the beginning of the on-fire bar with this part of the crown and the arrow should point to the rock aligned above the on-fire bar. When you're starting a lot farther back, stand in this corner by the cactus. Line up this edge of the scope graphic with the darker line in the cactus. I use low graphic settings so it should still show up for higher graphic settings as well. Moving to hybrid maps, I'm going to start with Blizzard World. Stand in the corner next to this mailbox by the capture point. Line up the point of this scope graphic with the indentation on the castle. For Eichenwald, stand in this corner with the bushes. Line up the top of the triangle horizontally with the corner of the tower and make sure the outside curve is touching the roof. This one is also a little difficult to do without the fences, but stand in the corner along the fence. This point shows exactly where the spawners are, so for this nade, use your alt meter and try to keep that point as centered as possible as you drag it just out of your line of sight. This nade splashes on the pillar between bolt doors. On King's Row, stand on the ground in this corner by the lamppost. Use the scope graphics and make sure the right part touches the top of the second shingle on the roof, while the left stays on the lighter part of the roof. The Nimbani nade is a little difficult because you have to weave it between three curved buildings and have very little setup time. Stand in this corner along the fence, align the tip of this scope graphic with this line on the building, then match the edge of this line with the edge of the building. The nade won't hit directly on the spawn door, but it's close enough that the 5 meter area of effect might catch a couple. It's worth noting that if the fences are broken, it's very difficult to get the lineup perfectly for this nade. Last couple of maps are Assault, or more commonly known as 2CP. Starting with Hanamura, stand in this corner on the back platform. This one's an easy lineup, just match up this corner of the scope with this part of the roof. On the high ground above point A, stand in this corner created by the doorframe in the wall. Well scoped in, line up with the top of the pole. Line up the two of the ammo count under the corner of the bend. Because positioning here takes a while, you'll have less time to set it up. The last step is Volskaya. Climb on top of the forklift, then drop into the space between the lift and the boxes. Look at the blue line on the scope graphic and align the corner of the building on the midpoint. From these boxes, you can actually make this jump to the ledge. It's a little tricky, but it's still doable. Well, that wraps up all the maps I have spawned our nades for. Gibraltar isn't on this list, as all my nades are typically thrown from positions I start with as Ana. The shape of Gibraltar makes it very unsafe. If you found this guide useful, make sure to subscribe to see more Overwatch content in the future. It's